Number seven, Sarah Cusey. Number nine, Ember Nielsen. Number 11, Michelle Cuthill. Number 13, Tish McElhaney. Number 14, Catherine Rio. And now the Panther starters. Batting first at shortstop, number five, Brittany Bassett. Batting second in center field, number four, Jenna Bentley. Batting third at second base, number two, Melissa Martinez. Batting cleanup and catching, number 16, Brooke Elzey. Batting fifth at third base, number 15, Serona Rotterfeld. Batting sixth at first base, number three, Sarah Bell. Batting seventh in left field, number 10, Hillary McHugh. Batting eighth on the mound, number 12, Jamie Beatty. Batting ninth, designated hitter, number six, Shauna Drennan. And starting in right field, number eight, Kim Cochran. The Panthers are coached by Dan Williams with assistant coaches Rodney DeLeon and Alan Cusey. Now let's meet the Wolfpack of West Hills High School. Number three, Megan Figgy. Number four, Aaron Short. Number five, Jennifer Rodriguez. Number 11, Danielle Williams. Number 12, Andrea Giamanco. Number 15, Lindsay Sutton. And now the Wolfpack starting lineup. Adding leadoff at shortstop, number one, Jennifer LaRussa. Adding second at third base, number seven, Heidi Miller. Batting third and catching, number eight, Crystal Pryor. Batting cleanup at first base, number 13, Crystal Miller. Batting fifth at second base, number 10, Lacey Haber. Batting sixth, designated hitter, number nine, Jessica Millsap. Batting seventh, right fielder, number two, Lindsey Cortez. Batting eighth, on the mound, number 16, Sabra Warner. Batting ninth in left field, number 14, Jonette Henson. And starting in center field, number six, Katie Horstman. The Wolfpack is coached by Steve Sutton with his assistant, Melissa Odom. Umpiring tonight's contest, at first base, Tom Strita, third base, Raul Corral, and behind the plate, Bob Kaufman. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Division I CIF Softball Championships. Tonight, we'll be facing the Vista Panthers against the West Hills Wolfpack. At a glance, the Wolfpack of West Hills made the playoff seating in fifth. They're in the Grossmont North League. Their league record on the year, 9-3, second. Regular season record was 19-9. When you look at uh, the Vista Panthers, they were the seventh seed. They're in the Palomar League with a record of eight and six, third in their league. Regular season record was 19 and nine. We're facing an excellent two teams tonight in uh, some pretty good weather here in San Diego. The game is being played at the University of California, San Diego, UCSD. And the Wolfpack has taken the field as the defenders first. And Vista will take... Uh, Take bat first. Leading off for Vista 
will be Brittany Bassett. Brittany is the shortstop. She's a freshman. Wearing number five, Brittany Bassett, leading off. Sabre Warner, the pitcher, a junior, number 16 for the Wolfpack, gets in there with a strike. Strike two. So Sabre Warner starting things off well for the Wolfpack. Bassett looking to settle in. <laughs> and it's 1-2-3 against Bassett. She's down for the count. That'll bring on Jana Bentley, a senior outfielder, wearing number four. Now batting for the Panthers, center fielder, Jana Bentley. Jenna takes strike one. No balls, one strike to Bentley. Strike two. So Sabre Warner of the Wolfpack just dominating these first two pitchers and she sits down this one. Warner taking a little accolades from her uh, teammate at third. Now batting, Melissa Martinez. Martinez, the second baseman. She's a sophomore, wearing number two. Strike two. And the first ball thrown of the day by Warner. Two balls, one strike, the count. Against Martinez, the second baseman, a sophomore from Vista, California. She chips that one into the backstop. Count still one ball, two strikes. And there they go, one, two, three. So Warner for the Wolfpack, dominating in the, the top of the first inning. We head to the bottom of the first, no score. We head to the bottom of the first inning with no score here in La Jolla. Pack Jennifer LaRussa, Jr. She's the shortstop, and she takes strike one. So both teams heading off with uh, negative impact, but it's a long game, long seven innings. And she swings on, strikes it up into the backstop. That'll be two strikes. No balls, two strikes to the... LaRussa, and if you're wondering, yes, she is a relative of Tony LaRussa. Ball one called. And struck out. So both pitchers on both sides doing a great job. Vister's pitcher, Jamie Beatty, she's a senior wearing number 12. She's a commanding pitcher. We got a good look at her during warm-ups. Warm -ups. Third baseman, Heidi Miller. Heidi Miller, the third baseman, in for the Wolfpack. 
Wearing number seven, a right-hander. Takes ball one. So LaRusso was shut down. Miller at bat now, looking at one ball, no strikes. First hit, driven to the shortstop, and out at first base. That's Bassett, Brittany Bassett, the shortstop. Setting it off to Sarah Bell at first, at first base. Getting the first out for Vista. Now at bat, Crystal Pryor for the Wolfpack. She'll take ball one. Want to know the count. Pryor is a junior. She plays center. Two balls. Got a few crystals on this team. Crystal Pryor coming up next. Crystal Miller, a freshman. It's got to get confusing. I'm sure they have some nicknames. We haven't heard them yet, but uh, I'm sure they'll be chanting them sometime throughout the game. But at bat now, Crystal Pryor, the junior, wearing number eight. She's the catcher for the Wolfpack. Chipped up. Up against the back. Counts two and two. And a hit. It will drop. It's in the gap. Out into right center field. Center field chase. Jana Beatty. Bentley, excuse me, Jana Bentley getting to the ball first. She's the center fielder. Ball just dropping into the gap between right and center. She hustles it in. But the runner advances to second. The Wolfpack, first baseman, Crystal Miller. And in comes our second Crystal to the game, Crystal Miller. She's the freshman first baseman. That in cleanup, number 13, Crystal Miller. <laughs> Miller, she'll take a strike. No balls. One strike to Crystal Miller. Ball two. Two balls, no strike to Crystal Miller. And she knocks it back foul over the backstop. Gives her two balls, one strike. Jamie Beatty, the pitcher, trying to hone in, trying to put down the Wolfpack just as they were put down in the first inning. That one hits the dirt for ball three. A pop fly easily right over second base, and it's caught. So that drops the Wolfpack. And Vistel head back to the dugout, swap out. No runs, one hit, no error. One left on base. No score. At the end of one, we have no score between the Vista Panthers and the Wolfpack. We'll be back in a minute. Now batting for the Vista Panthers, the catcher, the senior, Brooke Elsey. She's gotten already one ball. Strike called one and one to Elsey, the senior catcher from Vista, California. She's a right-hander. She looks that one, sees it's low and away. 
Two balls, one strike to LZ. Three balls, one strike to count to LZ. This could be the first walk of the game. Not just yet. Strike called. So we're in a full count. Three balls, two strikes to Brooke Elsey. Elsey with a chipper down the right side line. Picked up quickly and just tapped out. First base, easy out. One down for the Vista Panther. Panthers in the second inning. Now batting for the Panthers. Now batting Serona Rotterfeld. Serona Rotterfeld. Serona is a junior. She plays third base, wearing number 15, Serona Rotterfeld. Strike called. No balls, one strike to Rotterfeld. There's a chip out and over the Vista High School fans. That'll make it 2-0. Oh. Correction, one and two strikes. No balls, two strikes. Outside ball call. Sabre Warner calming things down just a little bit. She's pitching. She's the junior. Rotterfeld with another chipper. Infield, throw, and a miss. The runner will stay. She'll be followed up here by Sarah Bell, the junior, wearing number three. Sorry, on a look away. I believe that was a strike. Ball is the call. Like one and one. As the sun starts to descend here in La Jolla, California, the lights come on and we'll begin a night game here. Started in the afternoon, we'll end in the evening. Strike is the call. One ball, two strikes to Sarah Bell, first baseman. She's a junior. And that'll put her down. Strike three, the call. Up now, Hillary McHugh, a senior outfielder. Left fielder, Hillary McHugh. Hillary plays left field. Wearing number 10, the senior, Hillary McHugh. Strike one. A lot of encouragement from the Vista High School dugout. She drops her knees, gets a chip off of it, just goes to the backstop. No balls, two strikes to Hillary McHugh. And the Vista Panthers go down. McHugh will sit down. No runs on one hit, no errors. One left on base by the Panthers after one and a half. Still no score here in La Jolla, California. We'll be back in a minute.
Back in action. Now batting Lacey Hebert. The French pronunciation looks like Herbert, but pronounced Hebert. Lacey Hebert, a sophomore, the second baseman wearing number 10. Strike is the call. No balls, two strikes to Abair. Jamie Beatty, the pitcher for Vista, swung on, just chipped high into the backstop. She stays alive. Still with new no balls, two strike. <laughs> Temperature is starting to drop here in La Jolla, just a few degrees as the sun sets. Struck on, struck out. Beatty with another strikeout, that makes two. Now batting for the Wolf. Now batting for the Wolf pack coming up is the designated hitter, number nine, Jessica Millsap. Ball's high for ball one. Millsap, a junior. She digs it out. It goes foul right over the fence. Give her a one and one. One ball, one strike to Millsap. The DH wearing number nine. Beatty with a little low insider. Two balls, one strike. That's a strike. Evens it up two and two. Millsap with another pop fly foul just over the Vista High School fans. Stays alive at two and two. Beatty, a senior. She's throwing a few pitches in her day. Strikes her out. That's three for Beatty today. Batting next is Lindsey Cortez. Right fielder, Lindsay Cortez. Cortez, a sophomore, right fielder, wearing number two. And Beatty puts it in for a strike. No balls, one strike to Lindsey Cortez, the sophomore right fielder. Steps in, but she shakes it off. She'll take ball on that. One ball, one strike. Beatty looks in. Wind up. Another high ball. Two balls, one strike. The count against Cortez. Chip swing into the backstop, evens it up at two balls, two strikes. Petey with the windup, the swing, and another strikeout. That drops the order. Still no score. Vista Panthers, zero. West Hills Wolfpack, zero.
Now batting for the Panthers, the pitcher, Jamie Beattie. She takes one strike early. She pops up and over the fans, right behind VHS territory. No balls, two strikes to Beattie. But she'll sit on that one. Low and right at the knees. Jamie will take a seat. That'll bring up Shauna Drennan, a junior, wearing number six. Now that for the Panthers, designated hitter, Shauna Drennan. Strike one is the call. No balls, one strike. Inside for ball one. It'll make it one and one. Sabre Warner now working. She's got six strikeouts so far in two innings of play. Down low. He'll check with first base. She did not swing is the call. <laughs> Two balls and a strike. Back into the bushes over the Vista High School fans once again. Well, we're short of balls. The umpire's asking for fans to fetch. Once again, Warner. Sabrina Warner. Sabra, excuse me. A junior pitcher for these West Hills Wolfpack. Now with six strikeouts under her belt in just two short innings. Looking at taking care of Shauna Drennan. And she does. Good fielding, good pitching. That's the game of softball. Back to the top of the lineup, Brittany Bassett at the plate. Remember, she's the freshman. She's the shortstop, wearing number five. Strike one. No balls, one strike to Bassett, the leadoff. Chips it right at the fence in front of the fans for a little excitement. Owen two is a count to Brittany Bassett. Bassett struck out for the second time. <laughs> Warner strikes out the side for the second time in the game. And Warner strikes out the side. Two and a half in, no score. We're at two and a half innings into this game, a Division I championship with no score. We'll be back in just a few. At for the Wolfpack, their pitcher, Sabro Warner. She'll take ball one on the first pitch. The battle of the pitchers. Jamie Beatty at the pitcher's mound for the Vista Panthers. Sabro Warner at bat, and she chips one foul. One and one. And it's right to Beatty. Easy out at first. Credit the pitcher for that one. Nice defense, good reaction. 
It's been a tight game on both sides. Nothing really deep. Good infield play, good pitching. Now batting for the Wolfpack. Up next, the left fielder, Jonette Henson. She's a senior. Wearing number 14, Jonette Henson. Looks like the umpire is in quick conference with a CIF official behind the backstop. Back in action, we're looking at Jonette Henson, looking for her first pitch of the game. She's the senior left fielder. She'll take ball one. One ball, no strikes to Henson. First time at bat in this game. We're into the second inning. Got a little piece of that one off the top of the bat. Fouled off. One and one. One ball, one strike, the count to Henson. Looking for somebody to break this game open. And there's a little chipper, but it goes straight to the shortstop. Number five, Brittany Bassett, shoves it off to first and drops Jonette Henson. Back to the top of the order, we're looking at Jennifer La Russa, the junior now batting for the Wolfpack, shortstop, Jennifer LaRussa. LaRussa takes a strike. No balls, one strike. Beatty still at the mound for Vista. Pop fly, it's playable. Goes to the shortstop. Brittany takes care of that. And the order is down. Three up, three down. Once again, three up, three down for the Vista Panthers. The Wolf Pack will take the field with a game still tied at zero. Now batting for the Panthers, center fielder, Jana Bentley. Coming to the plate for the Vista Panthers, Jana Bentley, the senior center fielder, wearing number four. Jana Bentley. And the Vista Panther gals trying to rally their hitter. Little chipper. A little too much off the end of the bat. A little foul. No balls, two strikes. The count to Bentley, the senior center fielder. Once again, a little late, a little chipped. Gone foul. 0-2. Still the count. <laughs> Bentley with a chipper. Just dropped shy by the Wolfpack. Shortstop, Jennifer LaRussa. Puts a runner on base for the Vista Panthers. So LaRusso will be tagged with an error. Now batting Melissa Martinez. She'll take strike one. And caught safely by the pitcher, Sabre Warner. Good hustle off the mound. Runner still on first. Right in front of the 
Astros catcher. Now batting number 16, the catcher, Brooke Elsey. And a steal. Even caught us off guard. We didn't even see her creep in there. Safe. Bentley safe at second. Excuse me, Melissa Martinez safe at second base. I was correct. It was Bentley. Never listen to the PA guy. Go buy your own books. Jenna Bentley safe at second. Elsie just chip foul. No balls, two strike to count against Elsie right now. But she pop flies. It's going into center. Caught. Keeps the runner at second. Pop fly caught cleanly by Katie Hortzman. Batting next, the third baseman, Sarona Rotterfeld. With a runner on second, Rotterfeld. Pop fly foul into VHS territory. Again, Jana Bentley safely at second. She's the threat. It's popped in. It could be played. And it's out by the catcher. So left on base, Jana Bentley. One error. For the Panthers, no runs on one hit. No runs on one hit. And still no score in our CIF Division I final. Vista 0, West Hills 0. Now batting Heidi Miller, the third baseman. Popped up behind into foul territory. So far, Beattie doing a pretty good job of keeping things inside. A lot of foul balls, nothing too deep. No balls, two strikes the count against Heidi Miller. She's the sophomore third baseman. Wearing number seven. Yeah. Checked off. They said she swung around. That'll put her back on the pine. Heidi Miller striking out. Now batting, now batting Crystal Pryor. She's the junior catcher wearing number eight. Crystal Pryor. Beatty with a strike. Pryor looking at 0-1. Does it again, 0-2. Pryor with a look out over. To her coach for a little encouragement. She's got a big smile on her face. And Pryor will sit down. So Beattie doing a good job sitting down these wolf pack, lady wolf packs. And for the wolf pack, first baseman, Crystal Miller. <laughs> Now at the plate, the other Crystal for the Wolfpack, Crystal Miller, the freshman first baseman. Quick shot to the shortstop, and the Vista Panthers sit down the Wolfpack. No runs, no hits, no errors. No one was left on base in this inning. 
Four innings down, no score. Leading off the fifth inning at the bat now, Sarah Bell, the first baseman. She's the junior wearing number three. Sarah batting in the sixth position. Takes ball. Lots of encouragement coming out of the dugout from the Vista Panthers. Outside, but given the strike. Two balls, one strike to Sarah Bell. Strike two. Two and two. And B, uh, correction, Saber Warner doing her job, striking out another Vista Panther. Now battering Hillary McHugh, the senior left fielder. Popped up, it could be played. Nope. Foul ball right behind the dugout of the Vista Panthers. No balls, one strike to McHugh. Struck. Oh and two. McHugh struck out in the second. See if she can last through the fifth. She gets a hit. Out into left field. Sabre Warner not giving up a whole lot of hits throughout this game. Gives one up to McHugh. Just over a third in between the gap between the players. And coming to the plate, number 12, the pitcher, the senior, Jamie Beattie. Runner advances to second. No balls, one strike to Beatty. She put a lot into that one, but it swings foul. One and one the count. Stolen base awarded to Hillary McHugh. McHugh with a good heads up, gets to second. Beatty trying to put her teammate into a scoring position at third. Swings on, gets a little piece of that. No balls, two strikes to Beatty. Gets a little piece off the top of the bat into the dirt. Swung on foul. Staying alive. No balls, two strikes. But Sabre Warner sits her down. At the bat now, Shauna Drennan, the designated hitter. She's a junior, wearing number six. See if she can bring the runner on or even bring her in. So 
Swung on for strike one. Owen won the count. To Drennan. Fista looking to put something together here. Still no score in the fifth inning. She backs off but takes a strike. Owen to the count. Correction, one ball, two strikes the count. Ball to the count, two and two. Loose ball over the pitcher, but it's covered quickly by the shortstop. Good heads up play, not allowing the runner to advance. Shauna Drennan, two and two the count. Swings and misses. That'll sit him down. One left on base, no runs, one hit, no errors. Still the score, 0-0. We'll be back in just a few. The Lady Wolfpacks, Lacey Bear steps in for ball one. Want to know the count? Lacey's a sophomore, playing second base. Gets a hit, and it's off the right fielder. Off the glove, off the arm. Good effort. She stopped the ball, at least, and stops the runner at first. Time is called by the umpire. Substitution was made. In for the designated hitter, Jessica Millsap, is coming in Danielle Williams. Ball won the call. Danielle Williams showing bunt. Just gets the top of the bat. Foul. One and one to Williams, replacing Millsap. Williams showing bunt, checks off, and it's playable. Nope, foul into the fans at right behind Vista High. One and two the count to Williams. I'm on third base, or right, left field. Obviously, the Wolfpack trying to make something happen here with a man on first. You will. I'll be home. I'll be home less than 30 minutes. Two and two the count. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Oh, my God. Okay, it's the bottom of the fifth inning. It's zero zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Petey with the pitch. Nine. Hey. Tipped up, caught, and out. Williams sits down. Okay, bye. <laughs> At bat number two, Lindsay Cortez, the sophomore right fielder. Yes, and the runner advances to second. Not caught in time. Lacey A. Bear with a steal of first. Yeah. 
Still on base for Haybear. Batting for the Wolfpack, Lindsey Cortez. Now with the Wolfpack trying to make something happen. Chipped up, fouled back. Runner at second, A Bear. Cortez at bat. Time is called. Time out, we're back at action. Petey with the pitch and ball is the call. Umpire had a little bit of problem with somebody uh, knocking off some flash photography. But we're back at it. One ball, two strikes to call. High for ball three. Cortez hanging on with a runner at second. The Wolfpack trying to make a move. Here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Chipped out. Thrown to first. But she did her job. She advanced the runner to third. And the Wolfpack now in position to score. Now batting. The pitcher, number 16, Sabra Warner. Sabra Warner. Warner with a high pop fly right behind the Vista High dugout. Goes 0 and 1. Runner returns to the third. So with Lacey Aber at third base, and the pitcher who can hit, the Wolfpack is starting to get a little excited. Something could happen here at the bottom of the fifth. Pitch is low by Beatty for ball. One and one the count. They hit the shortstop, little out of the glove of the first baseman, and run scores for the Wolfpack. Ball just thrown too much to the right. And Sabra Warner, the pitcher, a junior from West Hills High School, does her job and drives into Leo for the score. Coming up to bat on deck. Should be Jonat Hansen, the senior left fielder. <laughs> Coach of the Wolfpack, making some adjustments, maybe. So we'll get a pinch runner going in number three, replacing Warner. Number three, Megan Figgy. Megan Figgy, the pinch runner. Give Warner a chance to sit down and rest. Take a few accolades from her teammates. Another Wolfpack substitution. Batting for Joe Henson, number 12, Andrea Giamanco. Batting for Jonette Henson is Andrea Giamanco. Giamanco takes strike one. 0 oh 1. Strike two to Jimanko. 
No balls, two strikes. Runner on first. Jamonko strikes out, but they score a run, and sometimes that's all it takes for the Wolfpack. One run. No hits, basically two errors, and one left on. We head into the sixth inning. The score, Wolfpack one, Vista Panthers zero. At the top of the order, batting now number five, Brittany Bassett, the shortstop. She's the freshman, and she gets a piece of that one out to right field. Puts her on base. So Bassett, who has struck out a few times, finally connects with the ball and gets on base. Now batting for the Panthers, center fielder, Jenna Bentley. Up next, batting second, Jenna Bentley, the senior center fielder. And she gets a low one. Down on the ground, ball is sent to third. Safe at third, right between the legs. Crystal Pryor. Trying to do her job. Great hustle from the center's position. Just doesn't get there on time. And now we have a Vista Panther in a threatening situation on third. Now batting number two, Melissa Martinez, the second baseman. Second baseman, Melissa Martinez. So the action picks up at the bottom of the fifth, heading now into the sixth. Strike called. Martinez, 0-1. Sabre Warner still doing her job at the mound. Nice grounder. At home, safe. The game is tied. On a bunt by Martinez. She drives in a run and ties this game up one to one. We have a runner on first. Now the Vista Panther fans and the players, obviously happy at this point, tied the game now at one. Still plenty of game to go. We're in the top of the sixth inning. Brooke Elsey, number 16, on deck to bat. She's the senior, the catcher. Vista fans getting into it. They're up and clapping. Panther substitution. In for Melissa Martinez. Panthers making a substitution. In for Martinez. Melissa Marcuse. Foul ball. <laughs> Elsie drops one short. It's thrown to first. Out at first, but the runner advances to second.
So Melissa Martinez definitely doing her job today. Getting on base, staying on base, advancing to second now. Threatening to be what could be the winning score of this game. We take a timeout as West Hills has a little huddle with the coach at the pitcher's mound. Now batting for the Panthers, third baseman, Serona Rotterfeld. Now at the plate, the third baseman, Serona Rotterfeld, number 15. Vista trying to make things happen. It's all tied up, one to one, top of the sixth inning. Ball two. Ball three, it looks like they're going to intentionally walk. Rotterfeld take their chances with Sarah Bell. And that's just the way they've got it planned. Now and here she comes, the first Bell. baseman. Up to bat, Sarah Bell, the junior. Runners at first and second. Pop fly into foul territory right at the Vista High School fans. This is what it's all about. For a player, you've got two on. Tie game, chance to move things ahead. Ball, call. Strike called. One ball, two strikes to Bell. Remember, she's the junior playing first base today. Grounder. Stop. Tagged. Dropped. Runner stays at third. We have the bases loaded. Well, Vista's certainly making things interesting here. A little bit of a flub up by the Wolfpack at second. Has the bases loaded. And at bat, number 10, Hillary McHugh. The left fielder, the, the senior. For the Panthers, left fielder, Hillary McHugh. the strategy for the offense. Get to the base. Advance somewhat. Strategy for the defense. Cinch up. Tighten down. Don't let them move. Hillary McHugh, the batter. She's had a pretty good day. She can steal bases. She can hit. Sabre Warner still on the mound for the Wolfpack. Junior facing the senior. Junior gets part of the best of that first pitch. He gets the top of it, chips it off, foul 0 and 1. Good connection to the, but it just goes foul down the first base line. 0-2, oh Warner poised for a strikeout. 
No balls, two strikes. Runners on first, second, and third. The scoop, the tag, and the out. Well, the Wolfpack does their job defensively. After six and a half. It's been an exciting game. Still having an inning and a half to go here in La Jolla at the University of California, San Diego. We're back at the top of the order with Jennifer LaRussa at bat. Taking strike one. In that last inning, it was an exciting one. We got a lot of, a lot of runners on base as Larusa tip flies foul. 0-2. Basically, no hits, no errors, or no runs on three errors. Larusa takes ball. One ball, two strikes. LaRusso with a hit out to center field. It's called easy. Jana Bentley for the Panthers takes care of that. The center fielder. One down. Now batting, now batting number seven, Heidi Miller. Heidi Miller. She's the third baseman, the sophomore. Right hander with a little chip swing, foul behind. 0 and 1. Another chipper, this could be played by the catcher, and it is. Nice job by Brooke Elsey. Two down in a one-two order. Batting third, Crystal Pryor. Crystal is the catcher. Catcher, Crystal Pryor. Another pop fly, a little south of the border there. 0-1 for Pryor. Jamie Beatty, the senior from Vista, doing her job in this, the seventh inning. With the score tied. Low for ball one. Pop fly could be caught by the center fielder, and it is. One, two, three. They retire the side. No hits, no errors. Three up, three down. And the score remains the same. One to one. We'll be back in just a minute. Now at the plate for Vista Panthers, their pitcher, Jamie Beattie. Ball one. One ball, no strikes to Beatty. Sabre Warner still in, pitching for the Wolfpack. She gets Beatty to pop up a little bit. Foul. Goes to one and one. Beatty with a hard hit right to the shortstop. Jennifer LaRussa. She takes care of business and drops Beatty. One out. Beatty. 
Now batting number eight for the Vista Panthers, Kim Cochran. Panther substitution. Batting ninth, right fielder Kim Cochran. He eliminates a designated hitter for the remainder of the ball game. Cochran will, will remain the designated hitter for the remainder of the game. Cochran, a junior outfielder. See if some new blood here can make something happen. Cochran swings with one strike. No balls, one strike to Cochran. First time in the game. Strike two. Sabra Warner doing her job on Cochran. Good look, it was down low for ball one. One ball, two strikes to Cochran. Cochran swings, fouls, stays alive, one and two. Cochran with a hit. But it's short-lived as it's driven to first. And an out is registered. Now batting for the Panthers, shortstop Brittany Bassett. Back at the top of the order is the next batter is Brittany Bassett leading off. The freshman shortstop, she'll take strike one. 0-1 oh to Bassett. She'll take that one high, swung on, and a miss for strike two. No balls, two strikes, the call. To the freshman shortstop from Vista. And she strikes her out. Bassett with her third strikeout today. For the Panthers. No runs, no hits, no errors. And for the Panthers, no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on base. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning here in this CIF Division I championship with a tied score, one to one. <laughs> Batting for the Wolfpack, it's Crystal Miller. She grounds out easily, right back to Beatty. She takes care of her at first for one out. Now batting for the Wolfpack, second baseman Lacey Hebert. Now at bat number 10, the second baseman, the sophomore, Lacey Abair. First swing is fouled. Fouled back against the boards. 0 and 1 for Abair. Pitch is high by Beatty. Take it to 1 and 1. Hebert with a grounder. 
stopped well but by Melissa Martinez, but she couldn't get to her feet in time to get the throw to first. <laughs> <laughs> Should put a sign on that thing, man. It's a geyser. <laughs> Sorry, we're being amused by the the water fountain. It explodes on people every time they come up and take a drink. Now batting Jessica Millsap, the DH. The junior, number nine, Jessica Millsap. Throw back to first, trying to catch her off guard, but they don't. The Wolfpack safely at first. Millsap looking inside for a call from her coach. The count, two balls, no strikes. Swung on, and the throw way over the second baseman's head. Safe at second. Goes number 10, Lacey Abair. Stolen base for Hebert. <laughs> Millsap now with a two and one count. Runner at second, poised and ready. Strike called goes to two and two. Guys, this camera equipment, okay? Little chipper, second baseman picks it up easily. Nice job by Martinez, Melissa Martinez, the sophomore. Fields that well. Now batting for the Wolfpack, right fielder, Lindsey Cortez. Now at bat, number two, Lindsey Cortez, the sophomore right fielder. Once again, they have a runner on second. Chance to take the lead. Swing on and a miss, strike one. Cortez checks with coach. 0-1. Strike called. One and one. Cortez, who struck out in the second, looking to make something happen here in the seventh. Pop foul, it's behind into the stands. Runner readjusts at second. No balls, two strikes to Cortez. Fouled back. Still 0-2. Jamie Beatty showing no signs of wear and tear. Still throwing them in there hard. Ball thrown. Base stolen. Runner advances to third. Great job by Lacey Aber. Stolen base by Aber. Now with the base stolen, poised in position. One ball, two strikes. The ball's thrown high. Two and two. Yeah. 
Two balls, two strikes. The count on Cortez. A bear on third, poised and ready to score. BD with the pitch. A bear with a smash into deep left field. She's coming around second. She's going third, and it will be a home run for Cortez. Lindsey Cortez, the little sophomore right fielder from West Hills High School. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call a game-winning hit. I'm Pierre Charmasson for George Langevin Productions. We'll be back in just a couple of seconds with some post-game interviews and some very excited young ladies. We'll be right back. Number three, Sarah Bell. Number four, Jenna Bentley. Number five, Brittany Bassett. Number six, Shauna Drennan. Number seven, Sarah Kersey. QC. Number eight, Kim Cochran. Number nine, Amber Nielsen. Number 10, Hillary McHugh. Number 11, Michelle Cahill. Number 12, with eight strikeouts today, pitcher Jamie Beatty. Number 13, Tisha McElhaney. Number 14, Catherine Real. Number 15, Serona Rotterfeld. Number 16, Brooke Elzey. Assistant coaches, Rodney DeLeon and Alan Cusey and head coach of the Vista Panthers, Dan Williams. <laughs> Division one champion, West Hills Wolfpack. <laughs> Number one, Jennifer LaRussa. Number two, Lindsay Cortez. Number three, Megan Figgy. Number four, Aaron Short. Number five, Jennifer Rodriguez. Number six, Katie Horstman. Number seven, Heidi Miller. Number eight, Crystal Pryor. Number nine, Jessica Milsack. Number ten, with three stolen bases in both of the Wolfpack runs, Lacey Aber. Number eleven, Danielle Williams. Number twelve, Andrea Giamanco. Number 13, Crystal Miller. Number 14, Joe Henson. Number 15, Lindsay Sutton. Number 16, with 11 strikeouts for the game, Sabra Warner. Assistant coach, Melissa Odom. And to accept the championship plaque for the West Hills Wolfpack, head coach Steve Sutton.
knocked him down. Was there uh, was there anything that led up to this game that you were thinking about mentally that put you into this position? Well, we lost to them last time, and I really thought that I really wanted to win this time and get back. And like, because we so far we beat every team that we lost to in the beginning of the season, and I knew that I'd come out and pitch hard so we could win and get this patch for coach. <sighs> was that the motivation? Was it your coach? Yeah, it's for coach. Was there anything that you did preseason? Anything to train that that got you into this position? You know, to be one of the best pitchers and to, and to give this kind of a performance today. Well, uh, I don't know. Like, I started out kind of shaking the season, but I just kind of went inside myself and and I pulled through. And um, I think I just knew I had to pitch hard for months for everybody. <laughs> what are your aspirations for the future? Uh, to go to college. Where? I I really want to go to Notre Dame, but I'm not sure yet. I want to go somewhere. First. You want to be the next Rudy. <laughs> yeah. Great job today. Congratulations. Well, how does it feel? You did a you did a great job today. Just those reactions, you know, you must be bouncing off the wall. Oh yeah, it's great. Um, we've wanted this like so bad, and you know, we didn't win win league or anything, and so we wanted this a lot. So we got it. What was going through your head when you just felt the crack of the bat and saw that girl leap for it and didn't get it? Um, it felt great because. I haven't been hitting too well, so when I saw that, it was just, it's really good. So, <laughs> did you did you have any motivation coming into this game to perform versus any other game all season long? Oh yeah, but, um, definitely. I um, I knew that we had to do good this game, so I just went out there, did 110 percent, and gave it my all. So, let's take you back to the second inning. You struck out. Did that get you down? And what went through your head, or what did anybody tell you to get you fired up for the rest of the game? They just said, you know, get up there next time because, you know, can't keep it over your head, you know, because then you won't do anything next time. So, um, but I don't know what else. <laughs> Is this the first for the Wolf Pack as far as girls uh, softball? I mean, it's a very new school. I mean, it's you must be proud to take that patch and that plaque back to, to the school. What are you going to do uh, next Monday morning? Next Monday morning, uh, probably still celebrate. <laughs> um, we have, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Plans for next year? Um, Gonna be back or oh, a senior? Oh no, I'm a sophomore. You're so sophomore. yeah. So two more years. So watch out, San Diego. Oh yeah. <laughs> do, you have, do you have your eye on any particular goal for the next two years? Um, just keep doing good, I guess. I don't know. Uh. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Take it home. Have fun tonight.